Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to the episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. So if you guys have not been busy the last few events, I hope you have, at least for those who are new, uh, to attain all the returning Pokemon that has been reappearing again, just like what we see now. Mimikyu is back for more. So it's always nice to see returning customers, so we're gonna have to re-satisfy their hunger or cravings that, you know, they have been you know, looking forward to in our cafe. So let's take a look and see who is up next on the party list. We're just gonna skip through this entire story portion because it's exactly the same thing when they first appeared. So it's nice, it's nice to see returning customers. But sometimes, you know, I wish they would just take change things up a little. <laughs> okay, so there seems to be rewards. There we go. So we're gonna have to work hard well, I don't know how hard people will be working at <laughs> trying to get a Pokemon that has already been gotten before. So let's try and do this to try and level up Mimikyu. Um, let's take a look first at the team. Well, you can see that not many people are as excited about returning Pokemon, but you know, at least some people are playing. <laughs> Alright, so let's start things off as usual with the party invites. We're going to refresh here because... It would be nice to see. Okay, okay. Probably should have gone with Starly, but that's fine. Executor would do as well. So let's start off with the simple two course meal. Yep. With Wabafet as our head waiter. I wouldn't call him a chef. They just basically bring the food to them. Okay, so let's gather all the plusos first. We want to spin things around, touch a few of the Strawberry baskets. There we go. Okay. We're gonna get a bit more Waba Fat icons so we can, you know, power up its skill. Okay, how about gathering some more puzzle icons? There we go, fantastic. Alright, so we're gonna power things up. Um, we're gonna have a bit more space with icons around because we're about to need those icons to change into megaphones. There we go, fantastic. Now that we have more room for icons, let's just gather as many of the same icons as we can. And followed by this. Alright, things are looking good. Just gotta remember to destroy the strawberry baskets. Okay, let's get at the Wabafets. The only problem we might face is that, um, yeah, the chestnuts might not get destroyed. <laughs> that will be a problem. Oh, 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 so close. Okay, so we do need, um, to summon four more megaphones, so that can be an issue. Okay, so hmm, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that one of the megaphones summoned out will destroy. Oh, there we go! Thank goodness. <laughs> Either the chestnut or the megaphone that was facing towards the chestnut. So yeah, a bit of really dependent on RNG right there. <laughs> so. Thankfully enough, uh, things went, you know, on a positive side for us. Okay, Ordino is up next. What with both orders being reliant on Pokemon that's just, you know, RNG mechanics? Uh, and all the megaphone summoning? It's just a very strange set of orders. Okay, okay, this looks simple enough. Okay. Let's gather the majority of the icons and of course making sure we cover you know the whipped cream and the, uh, the vegetable crates as well. Fantastic. Okay, so let's gather all the Arduino icons because we're just gonna abuse Arduino right here. We should be remembering to um you know hit the vegetable crates as well. There is that requirement. Okay. There we go. Alright, so let's get at the Squirtle icons. Vegetable crates are covered. 
vegetable crates are done. Alright, let's gather the Arduino icons because we need to power up the skill to get that requirement for 9 megaphones and this should do it. Fantastic. Alright, not, not too difficult of a level, uh, at least for the second order. The first one was really, really lucky. Okay, with that out of the way, let's move on to the actual 10 stages that we're going to clear for this video. And let's see how things are going to play out because I'm not too sure if I have enough acorns to handle, uh, you know, too many stages in the future. Seems like a lot of the, the stages nowadays are being built to really drain your acorn collection if you actually need to retry the level. Oh, we are getting a new order. Okay, okay. That's fine. Let's go with Squirtle as recommended. So we're gonna have an easy level on this one because it's an introductory level. To get a pickle from an open jar, make a combo next to the jar. You won't be able to clear pickle jars when the jars are closed. So be careful. So they're pretty much like um, marshmallows. Okay, so that's that's easy to understand. Alright, let's get our squirtles. Then after that, we are going to go for the top layer of the pickle jars. There we go, fantastic. So, hmm. Okay, so we can destroy this row of pickle jars first. And we can make room for the icons to go in. And make sure we push the icons in. There we go. With that, we're gonna just gather all the Squirtle icons so we can get the skill out. And just clear the level with the skill. Now, simple as that for an introductory level. But I just... I'm a bit little nervous, you know, with how they're gonna play with the pickle jar situation in the future. Uh, at least for some of you who have played up to the latest orders in your own personal accounts, I'm sure you probably know how difficult the game can actually get eventually. Oh uh, goodness. Alright, so Jigglypuff is looking towards uh, leveling up to its max level very soon. That's kind of exciting. Okay. We've got lots of bubble saws on the field, which is fantastic. Let's just cover all the pickle jars. There we go. Let's get all the slurp puff. Alright. And let's use bubble saw skill to destroy the four, five, six jars there. Yeah, I can't count. <laughs> okay. Now with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and clear the jars over here. Make sure, you know, you hit the eggs as well, because that is also a thing that we need to be of concern of. There we go. Now let's use the bubble saw skill to destroy the pickle jars. Okay, so we do need Togepi icons. So let's just go ahead and do that and then of course gather around some egg baskets and we are good! So not the too complicated of a level we do end up with. You know, two moves remaining, that's pretty typical of a decent level, not too hard, but good enough to let us earn a few extra acorns. Alright, moving along. Snubble. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so we might have a problem of a situation if we destroy too many pickle jars at one go. Um, we do need that elevation of the pickle jars, you know, to basically push the tomatoes in. So let's just get rid of these pickle jars here. So we can go ahead and use the icons to push the tomato in. Alright, there you go, simple as that. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna use Wabafet's icons here. And just gather enough score. Okay. I should probably push this away into the well, push this into the light so we can destroy the chestnuts. 
you know, along with the pickle jar. Tomato, come on, tomato. Why do you not want to move? Tomato, go, go, go in, tomato. Oh my goodness, the tomato is being stubborn. We are wasting moves. We are really wasting moves right now. Okay. Okay, the tomato is in the zone. Alright, let's clear the pickles. Alright, tomato is in. Now the problem is... Oh no! You see, this is, this is the problem when the game just creates its own kind of issues. Oh no. Alright, it seems like we're gonna have to retry this level. I'm not gonna spend the 900 acorns here because it's gonna end up taking two moves to clear. So let's retry the level and do this right once again. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, the problem on the first try was, well, I didn't use the skill to destroy the chestnut, you know, along with the pickle jars, which I should have. So there we go, we're not going to make the same mistake. Alright, so let's just push the tomato in if we can. Apparently we can't. There we go. Okay, there we go, the tomato is in. Okay, so let's push this chestnut here. And let's clear as many chestnuts along while we're at it. Okay, let's get the snubble icons in. Tomato is done. Let's destroy some of the pickle jars. Alright, and we're gonna do this. Can we get a tree lane destruction? Yes, we can. But we missed out on the chestnuts. That's fine. Alright, let's gather the meows. Okay. Oh, I missed out on one pickle jar. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, all the chestnuts are gone. Alright, so we just need a lot of icons because we need that score. And let's just make sure we touch that last pickle jar. And we are good. See, this level isn't exactly very difficult. It's just, just need to be... Uh, decisive on what you need to do and you know, keep your head level level minded you know on all the um, I guess priorities that needs to be done each turn so yeah moving along jiggly path hmm. okay uh oh Okay, so we do have a requirement for Jigglypuff icons, so let's get all the Charmanders first and set our Jigglypuffs free. We do have that um, requirement to push the basil leaves into the basket, so it's kind of a problem as well. Okay, the, yeah, the, the fruit cans are an issue, so let's just get rid of them first. Alright, luckily we can hit all four of them with a single skill. And that, that goes the skills power, and we got our Jigglypuff requirements going. Fantastic. Okay, so can we push this in? So that we can just have it pop in. Alright, looking good, looking good. Let's get the leaves in. Okay. Alright, the leaves are in. So we just need to clear the Jigglypuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. There we go. Is this enough Jigglypuff to clear? Oh, we are short of one. Oh, oh, thank goodness. I thought we were short of one for a moment. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Whew. <laughs> that was a little nerve-wracking right there. Alright, moving along, let's go with Executor. Okay, lots of Slurpuff, not Slurpuff, Snubble, <laughs> Snubble, they're all pink. <laughs> okay, let's go with Snubble since there's so many of them. Um, 
just gotta pay attention to the Mayonnaise bubbles as well. Lots of Starly icons, so let's make use of Starly. Okay, there are pumpkins. That's gonna be a problem. So it seems like we might need to power up um, Executor's skill. Oh goodness, why did it get activated? Well, at least it destroyed one of the pumpkins, so that's fine. Okay, let's get out the snubbles. Alright, so we do have some basal leaves to clear. So let's just make sure to do that. Okay. Alright, it's nice that they are all there. Let's make sure we hit the mayonnaise bubble and the pumpkin as well. Yes, go in, go in, come on, come on. You guys need to go in. Oh, come on. Okay. Alright, let's. Alright, the basal leaf is in. The basal leaf is cleared. Now we just need to clear the sugar cubes. Um, the one on the right is almost done, so we're just gonna use Executor's skill on the one on the left because it's badly destroyed. And let's just use a megaphone on the one on the right, and we are good! Alright, decent level, de decent, as long as you, you know, manage to pull out the hidden items in the Mayonnaise bubbles as soon as you can. I think you'll be fine. Okay, Ordino, you know, treating its own kind well. Ooh, lots of bubbles on this on the screen. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, strawberry crates, mega ooh, that megaphone count though. Alright, so we do need to power up Ordino's um skill. Make sure we collect enough or icons to gather around the strawberry baskets. There we go. Uh, we're gonna just get rid of the popcorn kernels at the same time. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so that's done. Now we're just gonna change a lot of the icons to megaphones to help us clear out this stuff. Okay, so we do have a problem. Um, two of the chewing gum bubbles are still intact. Uh, that's going to be an issue. Can we push this up? Apparently I can't. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So we can... We can destroy the bubble with a popcorn. Can we just use Arduino skill and try an RNG to a clear? Well, it was close enough, close enough. Oh my goodness, but we still do need 11 more megaphones to be summoned out. So that's kind of nerve-wracking. So we are really going to rely on RNG right here. So we're going to give as much coverage to the... Oh no, look at that! That's just horrible RNG! That is just horrible. Okay, we're gonna retry the level. Uh, this is this is the problem when levels require RNG to clear. That's fine. It's fine. It's it's not exactly a difficult level. So use your hearts. Don't use your acorns. You know when you can. There we go. All right. So let's get a more bubble sauce. Fantastic. Ordinals next. Okay. Alright, so let's use the RNG method now. Make sure we get as many icons to change as well. Alright, fantastic. That was a pretty decent explosion. Oh my goodness, I touched and let go. What a waste of a move. Okay, okay, that's that's going to be a problem. Oh boy. Now, at least at least most of the stuff here can be destroyed in one go. Alright, so we just need to power up Arduino's icon once again. There we go. We do have decent moves remaining, so hopefully Hopefully Oh thank goodness the megaphones all pointed downwards. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We don't have enough megaphones to clear. No! That's not fair! Okay, 
We've tried the level ones, and we're so close to clearing. I'm just gonna use the 900 acorns right here and activate our Dino skill just to clear the stage since it's just a single move. That's fine. Oh well. If you can, try to avoid the 900 acorn refresh. Alright. What's done is done. Let's move along. Oh, friendship bonus! For a raid event, that's fantastic. Alright. Oh, castle, okay. So there is going to be a skill, a uh, rather, yeah, there's a combo requirement. Yep. Okay, so let's gather all the icons that's the majority on the screen. Pickle jars. Alright, we're going to use a skill here to destroy the tomato bottles at the same time with a few pickle jars. Okay, we're almost done with the pickle jars. Almost. Fantastic. Alright, so we're going to just gather more icons to power up the skill. Of course, we have to remember to clear the pickle jars. Oh, we still do have that combo requirement though. So that's going to be a problem. Alright, so let's try to destroy all the ketchup bottles. Mm-hmm. This is an issue. Okay, so we do have two moves remaining and the ketchup bottle does uh, get destroyed in two moves. So we're going to clear as many of the non-helping uh, icons so we can get the major icon out. And then of course we try to get a 35 combo. Oh no, we missed out on two! And there were more than enough as well! What is going on today? Okay, we're going to retry. Oh right, the friendship bonus. Oh no. We're gonna have to use the 900 acorns. Oh. Well, at least we have Plusso skill to go on. So we're just gonna destroy a majority of the icons that isn't helping us, which is anything but Snubbles. So we can change everything to Snubble right there. And let's just gather all the Snubble icons as quickly as we can. There we go. Oh my goodness, such a waste. Such a waste of 900 acorns. Oh well, there are days just like this. You know, it's just for the, the sake of the 3 stars. You know, just for the raids and the teammates as well. Oh, we do get a present from Snubble. Okay, okay, I can forgive this. Kind of. <laughs> uh, it's still kind of a waste though. Okay, anyways, moving along. Hopefully you guys have better luck than I did. Um, Lucario is here. To satisfy Meow's cravings. Alright. Ooh, basil leaves. Okay. That's not good. And the baskets are on a higher level. That's gonna require some pushing around. Okay. Let's cover the chocolates. Do we need to power up the skill? Seems like it. Yeah, it seems like we do need to power up the skill because the range of the unevolved skill is kind of sad. Alright, so let's just power it up. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna have to destroy the chocolates on the top row to manual destruction. Okay. Let's gather the Lacarios. Alright, we do need to take heat on the eggs though. So that's going to be a problem. Alright, top layer chocolate is done. Two more basils to go. We're just gonna use all the Minchinos that we have. There we go. Alright, chocolate time. Now the basil is the next problem, so we're gonna gather all of these to push the basils up. 
Okay. Can we push the basils in? Uh oh. Come on, drop in, drop in. Yes! There we go! Whew! Thank goodness I do not need to use that last move remaining. Oh, it's so wonderful to have extra acorns earned at the end of the level. Uh, no matter how little they may be, but when they accumulate, you know, it gets a lot. Just like real life and your finances. <laughs> Alright, life lessons to Pokemon Cafe next. Alright, so. Uh, Pikachu's next. That's fine. Ooh. Lots of Pikas on the board. Okay. Strawberry crates. There are some whipped creams to take note of. Uh, vegetable crates as well. Hmm. Okay, this level is gonna be a bit tricky. Alright. Let's get us some beware's. We do need to take note of the strawberry crates though. Okay. So let's cover the strawberry crates as much as we can. Okay, so we do have Pikachu's eye skill going on, so let's just make use of it to hit the vegetable crates. Summon out a few more whipped creams. And of course, make sure that we can at least, you know, try to cover up some destructions of whipped creams. Try. Okay, let's just destroy the bundle here and the skill. Alright, all the whipped creams are out. So we just gather the Pikas to power up the skill. Alright, and it seems like we are almost ready to clear the stage. The only problem is the whipped creams. Okay, there's only the tiny bit left. So let's just make use of Pikas and, you know, hit as many whipped creams as possible at the same time. Okay. There we go, hitting the megaphone so that the vegetable crates get hit as well. Fantastic, so we are done! Simple as that. So we're pretty lucky that some of the megaphones and you know stuff were all gathered together in the corner. So hopefully you guys were as lucky as me when it comes to clearing this level. Fantastic. Squirtle looks very satisfied with his electric dot. Pancakes. <laughs> that is in the shape of this pushy. Alright, so let's open up the gift. If after every 10 levels, you'll get a whole bundle of rewards. And let's start off with the last level, which is always the 2 star. And things are gonna get a little bit tricky. Okay, let's see how things are going to turn out. Uh, pickle jar complications. Okay, there's quite a bit of Togepi icons, so let's go ahead with those. We're gonna get rid of the pickle jars as much as we can. Squirtle icons. Fantastic. Alright, so like I said, focus a bit more on the pickle jars. We do have that problem with the marshmallows, which is exactly the same as the pickle jars. So, gotta be careful with that as well. We do need a link of 32 twice. So that's gonna be a problem. So there's a lot of Togepi's on the board, so we're gonna make use of Togepi's to clear that 32 requirement though. But it seems like we have not enough icons. Okay, so we're gonna power up the icons. Um, I'm gonna destroy a few here to get a score. And we're gonna have that range to change the majority of the icons to what we need. But the problem is that we have not enough moves. Oh no! We have not enough moves. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna use the skill right here. And we are gonna use the 900 acorns just for this because it's it's just a waste. We we just need one more move to clear the level. Oh my goodness. So you can see that the game development has really changed to really drain your acorns right there. We we've used a thousand 800 acorns just like this episode and we barely earn enough to replace even a single 900 acorn usage so you can see that the game is really starting to take its toll on the acorn earn uh well technically it's fair considering that 
you know, in the early stages of this game's development, the the game developers actually allowed uh, players to earn acorns very easily, so they kind of made that mistake. Uh, so yeah, I guess if you want to earn, you know, money from players uh, <laughs> through their buying of hearts, uh, buying of acorns, and all that kind of stuff, you had to make a game that really does deplete the free resources, or rather the resources that you know lets players play more yeah just like candy crush and all that kind of stuff so anyway guys thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of pokemon cafe mix what do you guys think of the pickle jars uh, are they as annoying as the marshmallows or even worse <laughs> well marshmallows i find them a bit more annoying because they can move around pickle jars at least they kind of stay put um, but you know when pickle jars get oiled up in olive oil that's another scenario oh goodness gracious me anyway guys thank you guys i can't say thank you enough especially for those of you who have been sticking around for all the pokemon cafe mix videos you guys are awesome hopefully you are still enjoying the game as i do i'm gonna be playing this game for a very long time because i'm a big pokemon fan and i love puzzle games i like to keep my mind fresh you know, especially when you grow older, you definitely want to keep your mind active. And until then guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!